In this video, I'm going to show how to use an audio instrument on your iOS device and get that sound into Ableton Live using Music I.O. Uh, my iPad is connected via lightning USB cable to my MacBook Pro, and I'm going to launch Music I.O. And Music I.O. shows its disconnected circle to start, and I'm going to launch Music I.O. on the Mac as well. And Music I.O. on the Mac, starts with a gray circle, which then turns green to mean that we're connected. Now going back to the iOS device, I'm just going to swipe right and go to the second tab for sound from. And now I can add my instruments. So I've got four tracks of instruments. I'm gonna use the first track. I'm gonna add an instrument. And here I'm going to add Finger Pro Modrum. You can add any instrument that you see in your list. And then I'm going to tap on Finger Pro Modrum to open it up, and I'm just going to hit play. Okay, that sound that you're hearing is the iPad speaker, so I'm going to shut that off. And I'm going to hit play again, and now you hear no sound. I'm going to go back to the Mac, and let's try to monitor that sound without using Ableton Live at all. So I'm going to go to track one under settings here in Music I.O. Track one, Finger Pro, turn on the monitor. So that's monitoring fine. Sound is getting from the iOS device to the Mac, so that's great. Now let's bring it into Ableton Live. So I open Live. And the only thing I need to do in live is I'm going to bring an audio unit Music I.O. plugin onto one of the audio tracks. And you could use AU or you could use uh, VST, either way works. And I'm going to bring the plugin onto the audio track. And once it gets its stuff connected, you can see that it knows the name of the iPad, it knows the name of the app that's running on track one, and it's automatically connected because it's on track one. And this output is coming out of this track. If we want to capture the output of this track, we need another track. But that's pretty much all we need to do to get the app running on the iPad and get the music flowing out of the app using Music I.O. straight into Ableton Live. We get four tracks of audio, and that's all you need to know. Thanks for checking out Music I.O., and thanks for checking out this video. And we've got one more video to come on uh, effects loops in Ableton Live using Music I.O. Thanks for watching.